Well, in my last video, I kind of put in a quick teaser for this. So, I'm going to pop this open and uh, show you all what's inside. These are hella um, sealed beam retrofit kit. These are for my truck. And basically, what they do is they go in place of the original sealed beam halogens, but when the bulb burns out, you just have to replace this. And my reasoning for going with this is A, they are supposed to be a little bit brighter without the uh, complexity of going to HIDs. And frankly, um, my understanding is retrofitting high intensity discharge headlights on a vehicle that did not come with them from the factory is more or less illegal in the US. I could have that wrong, but that's my understanding. But if I read things right on the Summit Racing Weds website, these are street legal. So I should be good. Get down in there. But anyway, I've been having trouble with my truck headlights not wanting to to go out after a year. And I don't know if the auto parts store I'm getting them from are just getting bad headlights. I have checked my voltages. My voltage is on the high side of normal, but it is within the realm of normal. It's not, it shouldn't be burning out headlights. So I decided to give these a try. Now in case you're wondering, these were just under $50 a piece. So yeah, this is kind of expensive versus a sealed beam headlight, which is about $25-30 bucks. However, those replacement bulbs are like $10.99. So if I keep having trouble with them burning out, the replacements are cheaper and I believe they make LED bulbs that will go into these housings so if that's the case I could even put LEDs in there so that is something I certainly intend to experiment with at some point but anyway uh, these pretty much look like a drop-in install so I may go ahead and film it I may not we'll see what happens roll that beautiful b-roll footage yeah, while I did film the installation, I was not happy with the way that part of the video came out. So I've got some quickie B-roll footage while I voice this over. Uh, these uh, Hella retrofit kits, they just install no easier, no harder than a regular sealed beam headlight. So uh, installation, if you can install a sealed beam headlight, you can install this, no problem. The wiring just plugs right in. Uh, no conversions there. It's just couldn't be, you couldn't ask for it to be any easier. Uh, one downside, and this is not a fault of the kit. It just seems to be the way that the seal beam enclosures, at least on my truck, are designed. Is that in order to change the bulb, you've got to take the entire sealed beam out, change the bulb, and put it back in. But that just seems to be the way that the uh, enclosures that they go into are designed. That's not a fault to the product itself. And actually on the passenger side, which you see me working on right now, the uh, battery is directly behind the headlight, so I pretty much would have to do it anyway on that side. Okay, the footage order is a little bit messed up. I uh, You just saw B-roll footage of me replacing the passenger side. However, in this demonstration, the passenger side on the right is the seal beam halogen, and the driver side on the left is the retrofit kit. So keep that in mind as you're looking at the images. You'll see that they appear on the garage door to be roughly the same brightness. You also see that my headlights are a bit out of alignment. However, they seem to work well, and of course, just a couple feet onto a garage door is not really, you can't really judge a headlight that well with that anyway, but driving with them, they seem to perform just fine. I can't really tell a difference, bad or good, from the seal beam halogens. Yeah. 